Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So I'm just selling my final premium potatoes for a good amount of money. There we go. Last one's just going there. 4,769 pounds. <gasps> Ice cream! Ah, oh, chocolate. Mint. Oh, they have everything. <laughs> okay, so we are back on the farm. We have got so much to do. I need to buy a new planter. Well, it's actually going to be the first planter ever, I think, for this farm. And we need to sell the silage, because there is so much money just sat there. Potential money, anyway, because it's just, <laughs> at the moment, uh, silage that is sat there. So, there are a few ways that we could do it. We could either conveyor belt it, we could load up a trailer, take a trailer over to the uh, the, the BGA and, uh, and empty it. And then possibly use the tractor again to pick it up and put it into the... Uh, into the processor. It just depends really if we can tip straight out of the trailer into the trigger. It would be good if we can do that, but it is going to require a bit of testing. Uh, I think uh, what I'd like to do to begin with is just get the cornfield planted. We'll come back to this, but yeah, I think it is it ready? I thought it was ready. Yeah, it's ready. So that's good. Um, yeah, so let's just put this over here and we'll take the New Holland over to the store. And we shall buy the planter. And then between doing the corn and the sunflowers, we will certainly make a good start on the silage selling, because it would be so good to get some money in. Right, okay. So it's all to do with breaking things up and mixing up the video quite a bit. Yeah, so I, I really haven't had a plant yet, which is surprising. Just comparing what I downloaded to everything else. I don't think it could be beaten on price. £10,250 for 6 metres. If we were to compare it to the closest equivalent, yeah, it's like 20, 26000 plus 8000 so that is definitely a good one to go for. So I've bought it. A massive thank you to W33ZL, the creator of the used machinery mod, for looking into the issue that I had with the uh, configuration. I couldn't I basically couldn't modify machinery. I couldn't reconfigure. It was my fault. I hadn't updated. So, <laughs> yeah, that is now fixed. And, uh, yeah, I apologise for making it look like there was an issue with the mod. It was just me being out of date, as usual. So, yeah, let's grab that planter. We do have seed, so I don't think we have to buy any more seed. And I'm pretty sure it supports liquid fertiliser. Might be wrong. Uh, I think we have some. Yes, I can't remember. Okay, so here we are, over at the store. I need to be very careful not to look at the ice cream stand, because otherwise I'm going to want some ice cream. Every time. Uh, I don't know why, but I thought those tanks were for liquid fertiliser. Shows what I know. Yeah, I actually have no idea about the, this type of planter. I've never had any experience with one in real life. Uh, so... That's fine, doesn't matter that I bought the, the liquid fertilizer because that will still be used in the sprayer. I do need to come back here to retrieve the fertilizer and the IBC. No, it's the ice cream stand. I can't believe we already have 9.2 hours on this tractor. It feels like I've only just got it. That is amazing. Ooh, cutting it close there. Right, um, yeah, so the seed is around the back. Probably should find a better place for the seed. It's not very accessible. But I did actually put the digestate on the field, so that's going to act as the fertilizer. So I'm wondering if it's actually going to have an effect. It might do. Two applications. Uh, yeah, so that trailer's in the way as well. I shall move it with the Ferguson. And I think the Ferguson is going to be put on display maybe in the next episode. When I say on display, it's going to be put on a rock. But it won't be there forever. If I want to use it, I'll just get it down. Uh, it'll be quite simple. Just put it up there with the with the pallet fork. Yeah, so this will be good enough to move the trailer. That trailer has been there for a while. It does need to have a more permanent position. So does everything. But it's filling up. That shed over there is almost full. It would appear that you could never have too much storage. Come on, mighty Ferguson. You can move it. 
Where to put it though, that's the issue. I'm thinking over there with the forage wagon. We can tuck it away in the corner. Oh yes, that's fine. That's going to be a good place for it. In fact, that could be its permanent location. There we go. Good, so continuing on. We'll get to the field eventually. I just want some seed. And I don't think it's going to take much seed. I don't think it demands too much. Not quite close enough there. There we go. Yeah, so it's defaulted to corn. That is indeed our first crop. And then the rest of the fields, well, the, the, the other field, will be sunflowers. We can also plant soybeans and sugar beet and cotton with this one. But yes, we want to have corn to begin with. So let's get cracking. It's taken a long time to get to here. Still loving the new track. I think it looks good. Dividing the fields with the track is always useful, in my opinion. It just gives you much more space to manoeuvre as well. Oh, and of course, I raised the land over here, so we have no more flying pigs. Just go between them, and we will begin. But yeah, I am interested to see if this is going to apply fertiliser. Well, it's applying it, but I'm not too sure if it has a an impact. Let's just take a look. Oh yes, by the way, please ignore that I own field number, or area number 56. That's just so I can interact with various different things around the store. We only own 26 and 27. Uh, right. So, fertilizer. We do need to do some plowing. Yes, it's working good. So that is making it 100% fertilized. Yeah, we'll have to use that subsoiler once I have harvested. Good to see we're having no horsepower issues. Got plenty of power. As for the John Deere, which I still want to buy, I think we, well, we're just going to have to wait. I don't have the money. But it would be nice to get it. It's a very nice tractor. There's a pig here. <laughs> uh, they do venture a long way. I like that. It just feels very natural. Free range pigs. Yeah, the thing with these plants is they do get through their seed quickly. They seem to have a very, well, they do have a very small uh, capacity because they just have these very small hoppers on the back. Not an issue though, if you have a bag of seed at the side of the field. Oh no, seem to be over the mark there. Right, anyway, let's get this finished off. And then we'll move on to the silage briefly. And then we'll come back and do that field over there. And we should have a lovely field of sunflowers by the end of this episode. That tree there is annoying. Ooh, you annoying tree. No, <laughs> I love trees, but um, it is in the way, so I think we're just gonna have to cut it down. It would be good to put the track straight across here. It just makes more sense. So that one could be put into the chipper. We do still have this pile of wood here, which needs to be processed. So we'll be doing that at some point, whenever we get a spare minute. Um, but anyway, let's go and put this back in the yard. I'm about to do a test, I'm gonna fill one of our trailers up with fermented silage and we'll just try and tip it in front of the BGA here 
With a bit of luck it will work, but even if it does work, that is still a serious amount of load. It might be easier and faster just to use the loading wagon. Because at the end of the day, uh, in FS, fermented starch is still classed as a loose material. Well, it is a loose material, but the thing is when it's in the clamp, it, it's pretty, well, clumpy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you could really put uh, fermented silage up a loading wagon, but it's worth trying it. So into the Massey Ferguson. I don't think it'll work anyway, though. I don't think we'll be able to tip in front of it. We do have some loose material, which I'm just going to put to one side, and at the end we'll be, we'll be able to put it back into the pit so that we can ferment it next time. Yeah, so we just put that there, and let's just get that opened up. Lovely. Lots of delicious silage. It's unfortunate that we don't have any cows to give it to. But yeah, we, we just have the pigs and the sheep. Maybe we could get some cows. Because there's no way I'm going to sell this today. I need a rear weight. But yeah, I'll just get this trailer loaded up and we'll test it. I think conveyor belts would be good. We already have the lower section, we just need the top section. Uh, but even that is £38,000. We could buy it used. It would probably be £30,000. So we can't afford it. They are really expensive. But it would speed up the process. What we could do with is a big lorry trailer. Again though, it's the cost. Well, we'll have no issues tipping it like this. That's how it's supposed to work. But, will I be lucky? Really, it shouldn't work, because we are literally just tipping it on the floor. Uh, it's just, yeah, how friendly it wants to be to people like me. Oh, wow, it's actually going to work. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. So we don't need any kind of conveyor belts to get it into the cell point. Uh, but we might need something to get it into the trailer. Because, yes, it's slow. And we only get paid at midnight, but that's not a huge issue. Just wondering. Uh, yeah, loading wagon. Uh, it is it is a good idea. I think it does work. Okay, well, we'll try now with the loading wagon and compare. It's got a higher capacity as well. two trailers together. It's a bit too big for this really, but <laughs> just a, a test again, just see if we can get it to work. I think it will. I think it would be perfect. It's just getting up such a steep bank with it. That's the issue. Come on little Matty Ferguson, you can do it. Yeah, it's loading. It's loading. So is it just going to rapidly fill? Nah, this is too unrealistic for my liking. Okay, forget that. We can probably use it when it's emptier. But for now we're going to have to use conveyor belts and front loaders. Or wheel loaders or telehandlers. But again, we don't have the money. So time for time lapse. Let's get some sold.
Well, I think that pretty much does it for this load. It's going well. We are reducing the size of that pile. But, yeah, it would be good to have a conveyor belt. I just don't know how worthwhile it would be. I think we will do. We'll buy it using the money made from these three loads today. So, yeah, anyway, there we go. That is done. Just park that there. Into the Matty Ferguson. And we're going to tip another 14,500 litres. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be... I don't know. Um, what's the current price for silage? It's been quite a bit. £400. Yeah, it would cover the price of a brand new conveyor belt quite easily. But I, I think we'll still go for used. We'll just bring it back here and fix it up a bit. We might even be able to buy a bigger old lorry trailer, which we can put onto a dolly. That would be great, because this is fine, but it's a lot of going back and forwards, and also these trailers I've got here are more for grain, because they are, well, not very big. With the big bulky materials, you tend to put them into the bigger trailers. It's also not got the fastest tip ever, but I, I think that's fine, really, because it's realistic. We don't want it to go, whew! <laughs> that would be scary. Anyway... Let's just go and pounce back over near the pit and we will get those sunflowers put into the ground. The sunflowers will take a bit of time. Um, actually, I'm quite tempted to put a bag or a pallet of uh, seed on the front of this tractor so that we always have something in the field. Because I know we won't have enough. Do I have a pallet fort for this tractor? I'm sure I do. It's amazing how easily you forget. I think my viewers probably know more about this farm than I do. That's my log grab. Okay, so... No, don't take the whole thing off. Yeah, just the bucket. There we go. Yeah, I'm sure I've got a pallet fork. It's usually lurking in the grass somewhere. Hmm, not today. Well, according to this map, it's just... There. Where, though? must be lurking. Uh, oh, there it is. It seems to be on its back. Front loader tools don't seem to work with super strength. So I need to find an alternative way of flipping it over. That will do. Actually, only a few don't work with super strength. I don't know the reason why. But the pallet fork is among them. So, I'll go and grab some from back there. We'll take them to the field. We'll give the pigs their pig food. And then we'll get the uh, the planter underway. Steady. Right, we'll make my way up to the field. Uh, I can refill the drill here. We still have plenty of seed in the shed. Lots of pallets are about 10 to 15 percent full. We'll deal with that tree next time. Because this is going to take a little while. I've got so many pigs over here now. It's amazing. Right, I think we'll take those off. We will likely need the majority of that. I'd be surprised if it takes all of it. Squeeze through the gap. And yes, so talking about taking all of it, the pigs will certainly take all of this. There you go, pigs. Bit more food for you. Eventually they'll have their own corn. The corn that we planted at the beginning of this episode is only for the pigs. Oh, look at that. It's left the pallet behind, which means there's like 0.1% left on there. Probably 1%. Uh, as for fertilizer, we might be lucky. We might not have to go over to the store to retrieve the other one today. I prefer to do that when we're actually going over there. Yeah, we're still set to corn. Sunflowers, there we go. We do have ridge markers. I don't usually use ridge markers. At least not on a crop where... Or on a texture where you can easily see where you've been. 
like this field here. So for the first time on this series, we are putting sunflowers in the ground. It's going to be something different. It's going to really brighten up this area. Although the canola does that job pretty well. Yeah, so, um, yeah, no idea how long this is going to take. But we'll just keep going until it is done. So, see you in a minute. Well, I was wrong about needing that much seed, but that's good. It means we can keep it for another field. Uh, yeah, so we're just finishing off. I'll show you the map in, in a minute when we're finished. Uh, I think this field might have already been fully fertilised, not too sure. I might be wrong. I probably showed it at the beginning of the episode. But it just looks too uniform, really. I'm sure I've missed a few pieces. <laughs> anyway. In fact, yeah, there is a good way of proving this. Because, I yeah, there's a speck there and a speck there which I've missed. Uh, they seem to be fertilised, so maybe it was already fertilised? Not sure. I'll just finish off over here. Done. Right, so that's, that is looking good. We might also be harvesting canola next time. Anyway, I'll take us back over to the farm and we will call it a day. As you saw, I cut down the two trees. I actually do have quite a lot of tree processing work to do. I've cut a load down, done nothing with them. So we're getting them put into the chipper or taken to a cell point. I was told that it, there is no cell point up at the store. But we could we could put one there, but I won't do because it's just it's not how the map is laid out. So we'll get them chipped, make a bit more money. Looks like we might be able to fit it in front of the cultivator. We will need the cultivator soon though. Unless we use the subsoil, which I am planning on doing. Right, there we go. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with more Survivor Challenge. But until then, see you again soon. Bye for now.